Making creative and delicious pasta, rice, and side dishes is very simple when you start with sog sausages. Let me show you a few recipes I have here for you today. Here I have a baked ziti using sog's turkey Italian from their natural line with a roasted red pepper tomato sauce, mozzarella cheese, and grated Parmesan. A simple rice pilaf is taken to a whole other level simply by adding some Parmesan mushroom sausage. Here I have a pasta dish with Cajun flair using andouille sausage and gulf prawns. And I'll show you how to make a quick and easy Asian stir fry using Sog's chicken brats. The first recipe I want to show you is one of my favorite pasta dishes. It has all those great flavors of New Orleans. I'm starting with Sog's classic andouille sausage. And I have some sliced here. We simply take some butter, put that in a pan. Now the sausage is a spicy pork sausage. It's fully cooked and it's also slightly smoked, but I like to saute it to get it a little bit crispy as well and get all those flavors of the sausage into the sauce. Then I take some prawns. These are some beautiful gulf prawns that have been peeled and deveined. I put four of those in there like that. Andouille sausage and shrimp, I think, are just such a great match. They really uh, just go perfectly together. Now I'm gonna add a little bit of chopped garlic. Who doesn't like garlic with their shrimp, huh? Then I have some roasted green chilies. These are poblano chilies that have been roasted and peeled and seeded. These are nice and spicy. You can already start to smell that garlic. Ah, oh, so good. Next, I'm going to add just a few slices of some mushroom in there, some button mushrooms sliced up. Now I'm going to season with a little bit of fresh ground black pepper, a little bit of salt. Then I have some chopped tomatoes. I'm gonna add penne pasta that's been cooked. So you can prep this all ahead of time and then when you're ready to serve it up, just put everything together in this one pan. Finally, a little heavy cream. And now, we're ready to plate. Put those right there on the outside. Just like that. Beautiful pasta. It's coins of andouille right there on top so people can see that. And there you have Cajun pasta with andouille sausage, gulf shrimp, and hot chili peppers. Mmm. That's really good. Now let me show you my Kung Pao chicken using chicken brats. With stir fries, you want to start off with the things that need to be cooked the longest first. Here I have some celery, pretty dense. Then some red bell pepper. Then I have some shiitake mushroom caps. I just tear them up, put those in there. The stems have already been taken off. And then some yellow onion. Now the brats are fully cooked already, so they just need to heat through. You just want to get those a little bit brown. Just want to push those down onto the pan. All right, so the brats are hot. Now I'm going to add some chopped garlic. As you probably already know, I like my garlic. So in goes two to three teaspoons. Then some cashews. What I love about this dish is all those great textures. Crunchy, somewhat crunchy, a little bit chewy, and then really soft. Now it's time to season it. We're gonna use a number of different condiments. The first condiment I'm gonna use is chili paste. If you like it spicy, add more. If you don't like it so spicy, don't add so much, or don't add any. I like to start off with a little bit, about a half a teaspoon. Next, some hoisin sauce, which is a sweet Asian barbecue sauce. Put a couple teaspoons of that and then a little drizzle of oyster sauce. And this is a little smoky and a little sweet. And then a little drizzle of sesame oil. Sesame oil is a condiment and it's not a cooking oil, so you always drizzle it on afterwards. And then mix it all together and we get this beautiful glazed sausage and peppers. And that looks Perfect. Now to plate it up, I just put it around a bowl of some steamed rice. And there you have chicken brats made into a great Asian stir fry. So as you see, the possibilities in your kitchen are endless when you start with Sogs. For all of these recipes and more, go to Sogs.com.